Hello everyone, my name is Bottletop Hornet, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. <laughs> we are out on our lake, and as you can see, I have set out some copper to start oxidizing. So, it's, uh, it's actually working quite quickly. I did this on a live stream, and I wanted to get that going so that I had those prepared for working on. We've been calling it a Zeppelin, but I think it's going to be more of an airship. The other thing that I want to quickly show you is my plan to open this area here up to the back of the explosives workshop over there and turn this into the coal caverns. So that's a project down the line. Oh, little visual glitch. But we'll do that in an episode coming up soon. And I think what we might do is use explosives crafted from the explosives workshop to blast this whole uh, hallway or this cavern into a much larger size. But with that being said, none of this is for this episode. What we are going to do is jump up top and start preparing for an airship up here. So I'm going to go for something a little bit steampunky. I'm not exactly sure yet. I haven't actually practiced anything in, uh, in creative mode. And I think, like most of the stuff in this series, I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> I'm going to try my best and see what I can come up with. That looks so cool in the background there. <laughs> All that copper oxidizing. It almost looks like it's not meant to be there. The way the shadow is on the water. They like, they look not 3D. <laughs> the lighting on them is odd. Anyway, I'm probably going to collect some materials, uh, sleep this rain away, and then we're going to pop up to the top of there, situate a bit of a work platform so that we have something that we can build off of, and then we can see what we can come up with as far as a build. All right, let's get into the episode. Ah, there we go. <laughs> so I actually made a platform up here and brought a bed up so that we can sleep as we're probably going to be building through the days. But while I'm up here, I, uh, I realized what I wanted to do, or one of the things that I really wanted to do. And so before we get to building, there's actually something we need to find so we can get rid of that horrible stick. And we're going to go for a little bit of a fly out that direction. <laughs> because what I want to do is slightly model the airship off of the Minecraft ships themselves. So the sunken ships that we have dotted around the landscape, I really want to use that sort of style of ship, just altered slightly for the underside. So with a bit of luck, we can find one that's in pretty good nick. And if we're lucky, one that's actually right up on the edge of the landscape somewhere. We may as well just check that out as well. <laughs> oh well, worth it. So the more I think about it, the more I like the idea of it being a bit more like an airship. A, a pirate-like ship or a steampunk-like ship with a balloon of sorts over the top. Ooh, that is just about perfect. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lovely. So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to come over here and I'm going to take a screenshot of this. We might we might remove some of the business around here. Some of this. Is that literally the first time I've ever gotten myself uh, kelp <laughs> in this series? Oh my goodness. So, we'll clear this out and try and get some pictures from different angles so that I can replicate it fairly well. Because I like the idea of using the existing uh, architecture in Minecraft to feed into our own builds. And this is pretty much a perfect ship. It's almost unscarred. In fact, I don't know whether I've ever seen one with the front like that. Huh. It's like that was raised up slightly. <laughs> More than it should be. We may as well grab this as well while we're here. And I'm actually going to put away some of the junk that I don't want. Hm. We'll go check that out as well. But yes, it does actually look like that has been lifted up by two blocks, strangely enough. So we might, when we uh, build it, have to bring that down. It's like it's been sheared in two. Interesting. All right. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to take a screenshot from there. A screenshot. A little bit more front on. One from over this side, because that's a really good view. And then one from the back. Ow, <laughs> please. And I'm going to use those as my reference photos. <laughs> and hopefully we can uh, we can come up with something pretty cool. I'll probably do my best to uh, 
edit it slightly, but this is about the size that I'm going for. So before we head back, let's see. Uh, that is to the south east. So west, north, south, east, that way. And right here, we will get the nose pointing the correct direction. Then we scoot the boot. I can't. <laughs> scoot the boot. There we go. Yeah, that's how you do it. Ooh, nice. May as well take those things. And we can probably put that away in there. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Ooh. <laughs> I was about to say let's head home, but through very lucky happenstance, there is another ship under here. We'll see whether there's anything worth grabbing before we leave. I'm trying to work out the shape of this thing. <laughs> I guess it's worth it. <laughs> And I wonder if this treasure map points directly to where we are. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, now we can leave. Okay. So, we'll come over to our platform here. And we don't really have any spare room. So I'm going to go get rid of this and maybe bring some chests up here. So that we have some storage to work with and put all of our different bits and pieces in. And then we can do something. All right. May as well take this up with us as well. And yeah, we should be good to go. So on the end here, we're going to set up a little bit of a uh, station. This way we have plenty of space to expand and put our stuff away, all of this jazz. I think what I'm going to do is do a dark oak ship and then border it in some different pieces of deep slate to match what we have down here a little bit. Then we're going to go with a copper sort of uh, cage to hold the balloon together and we might have to go down and start to uh, get ourselves a little bit more of the wool, sheep's wool. I forgot the word for a second but we'll sleep through the night and let's go check out our friends down here. I really only had a couple of them so we haven't got that much built up I'm sure. We still have our <gasps> double enderman friends. I did not know that. Nice. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I have any shears in here. Hmm. Because we might be better off breeding them up so that we have a good supply. And while I'm building, I can keep ducking back down and making more of it. Okay. There's some shears. <laughs> there we go. Thank you for that. Now what I will do is just breed you two up. And there we go. I'm going to have to collect a lot of this. It might almost be more than I can get from just these few here. So we'll have to see. Thank you for your service. <laughs> your contribution to this airship. You too. Thank you, thank you. But rather than getting caught up on that, we're going to get started. So I kind of want to bring you guys along for just the initial setup stage. Uh, we'll make ourselves a bunch of different shapes. And by shapes, I mean blocks. And this way we can get a little bit organized. Now, the middle of this platform is the middle of that. But we also probably want to find ourselves roughly, roughly here. So that I can stand in the middle. So about there. The Minecraft ships have a base of about 10. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on that side. That means that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is going to be the back over here. So we'll go up one, across like so, and I'm not really sure. So this is where we're going to start to wing it a little bit. Bring that bit up like so. And we might actually want a little bit of a slightly different colored wood, just for the rudder and a couple of other little details. So let me see whether or not we have any spruce. Not quite. That's all right. A quick little uh, tree growing here. And we'll have plenty for what we need. Okay. So, for the rudder, I just want to go like this, like this. And it will probably end up going one lower as well. So we may as well just pop that out. In fact, we might go one there, one there, one there. And a stair. Like so. Something like that. And then this is going to come up here and we'll make this top last little bit out of spruce as well yeah so that feels like the uh 
the shape of the back there, or at least the central spine. I'm trying to get the central spine worked out, and then this side's going to come up this way. And that way I can fan out some ribs on the side of this boat and go from there. So on this side, we're going to go like this, but we're going to come a little bit more pointed. So I want to bring that across a little bit more like so. Oops, actually, rather we're going to come across like that, and then like this. That's going to give it a little bit more of a point than the Minecraft ships themselves. And we're overtaking our little crafting area, but that's okay. I think something a little bit like that will do okay. Yeah, so now what I'm going to do is find my center again, which is just here, and I'm going to work out the width of the ship. In fact, actually, I want to come forward a little bit so that our central point is where we have our entry. So forward probably to this one here. Bring that up like so. And that's now seven wide. And then we'll have one more come out from there, I would say, like this. And that one's gonna be what we put our handrail on. So we'll just put that there for now, just so that we have the example. Same on this side. And I feel like that is a pretty decent size. The main deck of the ship though, is probably going to be out of half slabs so that it's spawn proof. We have just enough room inside to walk. Perfect. So I'll duplicate the same thing on this side, that, and like that. Hmm, I need a couple more of those. So now this back section here is a little bit higher, which is good. It means we can raise up a bit of a uh, helm of the ship. And we might have to bring the level of this up ever so slightly as well. So if we bring this across like this, we can see that obviously that needs to be ever so slightly higher as it goes forward. But that's okay, we might actually give it a bit of a swoop just from that point, or from this point onwards. Bring it up a little bit more drastically. I'm not really sure if you guys really want to see this kind of stuff, but I feel like every now and again, just giving a quick insight as to my idea, and also how I start to work out what I'm doing, is just helpful. <laughs> At least for some people, I hope. So we have that uh, ship base, ship skeleton set up, and that's a really nice base for me to work off of. So I can come across here as well, like that. And we'll fly up in just a sec and see what it looks like. All right. <laughs> so from here, it doesn't really look like much because there's not a whole lot of shape to it, but it does give you a bit of an idea of the scale, especially if we come a little bit further away. So that's going to be hovering above our creeper farm there. And then imagine that the balloon above it is probably half again as wide. So if you split it down the middle and did something that long on either side, you'd have 50% hanging over either end. So I think the balloon's going to end up like that. But if that's the case, um, <laughs> 12 pieces of wool ain't quite going to cut it. <laughs> and I don't think we're going to be able to harvest enough just from these few sheep while I'm building it. So, while we haven't done much on this, and I was planning to do it in this episode, I think what we might need to do is pivot just slightly for this episode and change up the plans a bit. I see a couple of sheep down there. <laughs> There's one there and one over there, plus the ones that we have here. And I think what we might do is come over here and make an automatic sheep farm because I'm going to need a lot of wool. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of it in the main balloon up top, a significant amount, and going around trying to harvest the sheep manually is just not going to cut it. So at least with this, I've got a decent idea of the size and shape. We can do a little bit of adjusting when we come to actually building this thing. But for now, we're going to put away most of this uh, yeah, all of that. And think about doing some more work down below first. Preparation. <laughs> Should have been prepared for this, but I wasn't. And while we're at it, we might go and make some more rockets. Since we have a place to do that now. Yeah. I haven't done much on the inside here yet still. It's uh, very plain looking. I've just squared it up slightly. But we got plenty of sugarcane and... Plenty of this as well. <laughs> we'll make up some paper and I love that they added the ability to use a crafting recipe on these things now. So convenient. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. And we can make up plenty. I think that will do. So now it's time to jump up top and think about where we want to set up a sheep farm. And I'm thinking this spot just here will probably do nicely. So for starters, we'll clear out a little bit of this grass, flatten the area out, and then we should be able to grab the materials that we need, bring some sheep over, and I'm not gonna just lock them in permanently. I like the idea of building this sort of edge of the hill up as animal pens, I suppose, or uh, fields with walls around so that they can't escape. And I like the idea of these being more considered like shearing sheds, where we take the sheep in, shear them of their wool, obviously a little bit of a stretch of the imagination to understand that we're gonna be doing it a lot. But every now and again, I will swap the sheep over so that they can be out in the pasture and imagine it as though they are regrowing their wool to be sheared later on. So sort of adding a little bit of humanity, <laughs> a little bit of uh, realism as well. Semi-realism, I suppose, but that's the plan. So let me grab some glass, let me grab some iron and some dispensers and all of that jazz. I'll probably fill up my redstone box and we'll come back and see what we can get made. All right, so we're going to see whether I can do this from memory, but if not, I'll look up a tutorial pretty quickly and it shouldn't be a problem. First things first, let's get our redstone box out so that we have everything available to us. And I'll probably need some hoppers. Uh, this, I'm gonna need all of those hoppers. I'm gonna need more iron in a second, but we can deal with that shortly. So for starters, let's build up where we want them. And I'm going to make eight. So we'll raise it up a little bit off the ground like so. And we're going to separate them by two. So it's going to be one there, then uh, one, two, one, one, two, one. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. And we want one on either side. Now, from here, I'm going to separate them with the glass. Oops. <laughs> and then we can build our, oops, again, <laughs> oops. We can build our platforms up around these spots. There we go. From there, I'm going to get my observer, which would be in here. The observer will want to go into the back of the block that the sheep is on, like so. Our dispenser will want to go on top of that, like so. There we go. And that is pretty much it. I think uh, a solid block on the back of each one of these with a bit of redstone on top should make it so that that activates when the grass block changes. From there, I'm just gonna add a layer of grass in the front and two on either side of the, uh, the observers at the back so that we have as much grass nearby that central piece as possible and it's gonna give it as much chance of growing quickly as we can. Cool, let's see whether we have enough glass for all of this. Oh, one shot. <laughs> Luckily we have some villagers that we can buy some more of. And that does look pretty cool sitting up there. So, now, oh, are you kidding? I just realized that my one scaffolding piece of glass was probably the piece that I was missing. <laughs> Satisfying, but we do need to come up the back as well. So we'll enclose that entire area in like so. And this is where I need to get some iron because I'm going to put hopper minecarts underneath the spot that the, uh, the actual sheep is on top of. So a hopper minecart will go right there. And then we will have a double chest just here. Oops. <laughs> that goes directly into our storage. We're going to block off the back of this like that. And then on either side of where these will go, we'll have a solid block so that our mine card doesn't move around. One of those there. And we might have to go fire up the super smelter. The thing is, I really don't want to use too much more of my iron. I kind of like the idea of keeping this raw iron here so that we, uh, we have them for decoration blocks or for anything really. So we're just going to use this much. 
And that amount of iron will hopefully last us until we make ourselves an iron farm. So after I finish working on the airship, next episode, I think what we might do is pivot across and start working on our industrial area. Sort of going back and forth, getting some farms built up before we start really working on the city. So, how much iron is this? One, two, three... Four and a half stacks, good to know. Four and a half stacks of iron is 288, divided by 16 is 18. So, just over two pieces of coal for each. Unfortunate, but that's okay. So three pieces of coal for each, that's 48 pieces of coal. I could have sworn I put the coal in there. 48 pieces of coal should do the trick. We'll send that out and actually fill up the coal slots first, just to make sure. There should be two, and that should make its return trip and add a third one. Beautiful. Double check over this side. Three, and that should be good to go. All right, let's smelt up this iron. Then I can make enough mine carts and hoppers and everything that I need, plus the shears to go over in that farm and wrangle some sheep in there. And that should be it. Beautiful. <laughs> there we go. I love having a super smelter. That's good. So now we should have more than enough iron to keep us going up here with this farm. And it honestly doesn't look too big. I was a little worried that eight modules would be too wide. But we might end up building a bit of a farmhouse around this or something. I'm sure. So that'll be nice. So we're just going to come up here and grab a little bit of the, uh, the wood from all of this stuff here. May as well bring a little bit extra down, just so that we have enough to work with. And we'll put all of our chests in the front here. Then we can pop around the back, put all of our hoppers down in there. Lock that back up. And put a rail on top of every single one. Nice. Now, we just need to craft up our hopper minecarts. And it should be ready for sheep. So, one. <laughs> We're going to have to try and do this efficiently. Uh, two. Um, we're going to run out of inventory space, aren't we? Three. All right, that goes there, there, and there. And then we're also going to block these in with just a stair, like that. And that way, that'll stop it from coming out of the, uh, the holes. Keep it all locked in nice and tight, and we won't have to worry about it again. Probably want to put the minecart in there first, though. <laughs> okay... Nice. Cool. With that, we might actually fill in the whole underside of there, like so. And let's bring some sheep up. Sheep number one. Let's go. <laughs> now, I just realized that I should probably make sure that we have some shears in there first. Bring you in like this. No? <laughs> mm. On top, then. We'll bring the sheep across and whichever one it falls in. <laughs> will be the one that it stays. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. That should have gone straight down into here. It did. Perfect. So, let's make up a handful of these. And we're going to fill every one with nine. That way... Did I miss one? There we go. <laughs> it worked while we were doing that. Perfect. So I'm going to fill that up with nine. And my theory is that when the nine have... Uh, disappeared have been used all up that is when the uh, quote-unquote shearing is done and we can bring those out replace them with a new one and cycle them through cool so let me quickly fill all of these dispensers up with the iron that i have remaining and then we'll see if we can get the sheep in yeah And with surprisingly little effort, there it is, a sheep farm. So we have eight sheep in there, working away. This one will have to uh, probably wait until it eats. It hasn't eaten the grass yet, but all the rest are filling in nicely. We can probably do a bit of a build around this coming up soon. <laughs> Everything's coming up soon. But we'll do this entire area in an episode, I would say, and turn that into a barn where we can uh, hide the farm itself. But... That's got some, four, five, none obviously, two, three, four, and three. 
Nice. But with a bit of luck, that will start producing a decent amount of wool. It's not going to be super, super fast, but it will continue to work while we're in this area. That's lovely. You can hear that going off. Beautiful. And uh, yeah, so while I am working away on different things, especially up there, we're going to be able to get a decent supply of wool. I'm thinking what I might do is just uh, after I finish this episode, I might AFK around here for a little bit, maybe even up in my boat just to see whether or not this is a decent spot. And then that way the, uh, the sheep farm keeps going while we're up here. There they are down there. This nice, cute. <laughs> and yeah, it looks like our copper has really started to transform a lot of the first lines are mostly done and it's definitely starting to make its way through. So that's good. That should be plenty ready by the time we are up to building the balloon above. And all in all, even though uh, this episode has been a little bit different and not exactly what I wanted to do, we're making progress. As long as I make steps forward, I'm happy. And I hope you guys don't mind that maybe not as much was done this episode. Because in reality, this doesn't take much to do. But I got a little bit turned around trying to work out what I needed and how to do it. So this is what we come up with. Now, with all that being said, I think it's uh, it's probably time to release this episode. I know it's taken a little while longer. Sorry about that, folks. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we now have a sheep farm working away. And that's going to allow us to build a balloon on our airship, which will hopefully be in the next episode. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys take care of yourselves until the next episode. And I'll see you then. <laughs> take care, everyone. Bye-bye for now. Whoop. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters, especially my Tier 3 supporters, Ness, Shifu, Carl, Evan, Tessie, Reitman, and Twistle. You guys are amazing, and thank you to all my Patreons for helping me to continue to work towards making this a job, and continue to provide content for all of you guys. I appreciate it a lot, and I hope you guys continue to enjoy my videos. Take care everyone, and I'll see you next time.